Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. In Western Armenia, in province on Arkesh, rain caused flooding. Statements of the chairman of Council of Military Patriotic Public Organization, Atan. Work of the improvement of the rehabilitation center of Stepanagert is at the stage of completion. Interview with chairman of the Union of Armenian Community of Saratov, Hamlet Sharoyan. Will Biden start a new game in Transcaucasia? A delegation headed by the chairman of the Constitutional Court of Georgia has arrived in Armenia on an official visit. Linda Gavrush book, Armenian Schools and Armenian Identity in Turkey, has been published. Days of Iranian culture in Armenia started in the Matinadaran. A rains in Arkesh province of one province of Western Armenia led to floods. The rain especially intensified in the afternoon, turning into the downpour. Due to intense rainfall, floods appeared in some areas too. The rescue workers have started the relevant work, thanks to which, by means of construction equipment, the mat sliders accumulated in the blocks and the block stages formed from them were removed. I, Thomas Martirosian, being the chairman of the Council of Military Patriotic Public Organization, Adan, and the commander of the Republic Military Patriotic Public Organization, Nemesis, declare, I have never been a party member and never intend to. My only party is my country, my homeland, which I will serve until the end of my life. I cannot be bought by the offers of any party and financial assistance. Our motherland, country, and state need financial assistance. We have patented the land of which we live and our right to life with our blood. Therefore, I ask and urge all the parties operating in the Republic of Armenia to retrain from their proposals. You cannot buy a soldier on the motherland. If you want to help, you can pay the tractor drivers for drinking trenches, buy houses so that a soldier won't sleep on the wet ground, open workplaces in border villages so that a border resident doesn't leave home. In the end, pay the volunteer who keeps the motherland for free. It will help the population, the army, and it will serve with the clear concessions that we are on the border on the country, knowing that inside the country they are owners of their country. Improvement works of Caroline Cox Rehabilitation Center, which started with the funds of the Hayastan Pan-Armenian Foundation, is at a final stage in Stepanagert. Director of the Rehabilitation Center, Vartan Tadevosyan, said this in an interview with the correspondent of Artsakh Press. The works are at the completion stage. The international community of the Red Cross responded to our request to carry out constructions work in the center. The Aurora Humanitarian Initiative also participated. Thanks to their work, a new territory has been reconstructed which will serve patients in the center, said Tadevosyan. Western Armenia TV was a guest at a Union of Armenian Community of the City of Saratov of the Russian Foundation. Hamlet Charoyan, who has been leading the community for many years, represented what the living Armenians mainly do there, what activities are carried out by the Union of the Armenian Community and what kind of works are being carried out by the efforts. Mr. Sharoyan also spoke about the support provided by the Armenian community by Saratov during the last Artsakh war, as well as about the important mission of building the church and its completion in their near future. According to him, Armenians can be seen in almost all spheres, economic, political, healthcare, etc. Armenians live in Saratov presenting their language, culture, religion, and national system of values, thanks to the work carried out by the community. The U.S. is reducing its military presence in the Middle East. It has withdrawn from Afghanistan. Now the question is whether the Americans will be able to build or use the existing power on Transcaucasia, or will it work? Erika Olson, who replaced Philip Ricker as U.S. Under Secretary of the State of Europe and Asia, has begun her tour in Transcaucasia countries. Now he is in Yerevan, where in addition to negotiations with the country's leadership, he participates in a forum of heads of U.S missions in Transcaucasia, with the participation of U.S. ambassadors to Armenia, Georgia, and Azerbaijan. The previous forums of Head of America mission in the region were held in Tbilisi in 2018 and in Baku in 2019. The article is fully available on our website. 
At the invitation of Chairman of the Constitutional Court of Republic of Armenia, Arman Dilanyan, a delegation headed by the Chairman of the Constitutional Court of Georgia, Merab Turaba, arrived in Armenia on an official visit of November 4, 2021. The Constitutional Court of Armenia informs that the purpose of the visit is to give a new qualitative impetus to the further development of bilateral relationships as well as to promote cooperation with bilateral and multilateral formats. Within the framework of the official visit, there will be one-on-one -on -one conversation between the Chairman of the Constitutional Courts of Armenia and Georgia, as well as professional discussion in an expanded format. Sociolinguist Linda Bayraj's book, Armenia Schools and Armenian Identity in Turkey, has been published in Letishim Publishing House. The book includes experts from interviews with many students and teachers of Armenian schools. Linda Bayraj currently works at the Department of Sociology of Aji Bektash University in Nevseir. The book describes how the educational system was implemented in Armenian schools within the framework of the policy of honoring and curriculum influenced on the formation of the Armenian identity. How did the atmosphere of strict control in Armenian schools affect the environment and students? What role did the restrictions of the teaching of the Armenian language play in the passation of the Armenian language or in its complete non-functioning? 2022 marks the 13th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Armenia and the Islamic Republic of Iran, towards which Martin Adran initiates the Day of Culture of Iran. Within their framework, book presentation, an exhibition dedicated to the Qajaran era, and the implementation of the theoretical and practical program, restoration of the manuscripts of the Qajaran era stored in the Matinadaran has already started. According to Matinadaran director Vahan Dergevonjan, there are more than 450 Persian manuscripts and several hundred documents in the Matinadaran. So far, a great deal has been done in terms of studying these manuscripts and documents. Let me announce today the Days of Iranian Culture open in Matinadaran. Advisor to the Cultural Center of Embassy of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Sayed Hossein, said, We intended to declare this year the Year of Iran. Within the framework of this year, we are organizing various cultural events with various educational and cultural institutions and universities of Armenia. And it is a great honor for us that we are starting the events dedicated to this year with the Matinadaran. And now Armenian national song Barbar Genem. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenian TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.